Hi friends, welcome to Vicreation Technologies. Please do like and subscribe to our channel so that you will get latest notifications. And today in this video, we will talk about the C-SAP nullable types or also we can say that the nullable types in C-SAP and also I will discuss with a simple example that how to use the nullable types in C-SAP and at last I will tell you that when to use the nullable types in C-SAP. So let's get started. So basically the nullable types is used in case of our value type. So we can't use in our reference types. So whenever we are just doing any kind of programming in our day to day life, we just used to declare some of the variables in our coding or programming life and during that time, so we used to assign some of the null values into our variable. But whenever we will just assign null value into it, then it will just straightly throw some of the errors or exceptions. And to avoid those things, we just need to use the nullable types. And the nullable type syntax looks like this. That's a nullable. And here I need to just pass like int or float or what type. Let's say i equal to null. And here you can see in place of int, I can assign a float value. I can assign a double value. And also I can assign a bool value also. So it's depend upon the programmer that what type of value you are taking. So here whenever we will just use the nullable type, then we can assign a null value into it. But let's say I just want to take a simple variable like let's say int x equal to 10, then it will work fine. But let's say I, I just want to assign minus value, then also it will work fine. But whenever I will just assign a null value, then it, it straight me throws a compilation errors like cannot convert null into int because it is a non nullable value type and to avoid such type of errors we need to use the nullable types in our C sharp so so this is how our nullable type looks like but there is one more syntax is there like we can use like this int x equal to null so there are basically two syntaxes are present also we can use both type we can use like this also like nullable bool also we can use like int this question mark we can use both the syntaxes and also here we can take any type of let's say this is boolean so i can assign true value also i can assign a false value also i can assign a null value into it so it just depend upon the programmer that what value that programmer wants to assign into that particular variable and also there are various types of properties present in the nullable type let's say I, I am just using this syntax but anyone can use this syntax also it will work fine but let me take this syntax so so if you can see in the properties there are two properties are present like has value and value so has value means it will just check for whether it contains a particular value or not. So if it contains a particular value, let's say in, in my x variable, it contains a value like 10 or 20 or minus 10 or minus 20, then it will return true. Otherwise, it will just return false. So let me show you that how it works. Let's say if x dot has value, then it will just print so here i am just using this has value properties so whenever this x contains any type of value then let's say 10 value or minus or minus 10 or, or any type of positive or negative value then it will just display me this console dot write line the true true value otherwise it will just display the false value let me add here this console dot read line as well and let me just run the application so in the output window it just showed me the false value so false value means it just executed this else condition so which means this x does not contain any type of value in it which means it just contains a null value into it let's say i will just assign a 10 value or 20 value or whatever minus 10 or minus 20 then it will just show me 
this true value. Let me assign a 10 value. Let me run the application again. So now you can see here it just showed me true value. So this is the first property of our nullable type the hash value. So it is the hash value property is checking whether the, our nullable type contains any value in it or not. If it contains any value then it just return the true otherwise it just return the false. Now the next properties the next property is just the value. So we just return the current value in it and let us say if it contains a null value then it will just throw an exception like invalid operation exceptions. So whenever we just want to use the x dot value property then we should be very careful otherwise it will just throw us the exception. And also the nullable types only can be used in the value type we can't use in the reference types and also the and also there won't be a nested nullable types. So we can't use nullable type within another nullable types. So only the one nullable type we can use it and also we can use the both the syntaxes and it will just work fine. And also in case of our nullable type for the comparison we can just use the double equal to operator and the not equal to operator but we can't use other than this operator. So just we need to use this double equal to operator as well as the not equal to operator. And the last thing is that when to use the nullable types in C sharp. So whenever there is a requirement that in the in the particular type of variable let us say x or i whatever may be the variable and we just want to assign a null value into it then we should use the nullable types in C sharp be because to avoid any type of errors like the error the error could be let us say I am assigning a null value into it and the error it will throw like cannot convert null into int because it is a non nullable value type and to avoid such type of errors we just need to use the nullable type in our C sharp programming day to day life. So this is all about my nullable types in C sharp stay tuned for my next video till then bye bye thank you.